Good evening, dear telespectators, and welcome to another episode of International Students. My name is uh, Nicola Di Nardo, and today, with the occasion of the 6th of December, San Nicolas Day, we will discuss together with two students and colleagues, uh, Melina and Loai, about uh, a charity initiative which um, they started in uh, our campus. Uh, good evening, and uh, thank you to have accepted uh, the invitation. Hello, I'm glad to be here. Hello, Nicola. Thank you for having us here. As um, to start, please, could you introduce yourself, tell us something about you and uh, your studies? Uh, I'm Elina. I'm an international dental medicine student in the fifth year. Um, I'm Loai Haddad. I'm an international student, uh, dental medicine, English section, also the fifth year. I would like to ask you, um, why uh, did you choose the University of Medicine, Pharmacy, Sciences and Technology, jo um, Georgian Milpalade of uh, Turgmures, and why the field of uh, dental medicine, uh, stomatology? Yeah. Well, um, Oma Fesete is an amazing uh, university. I'm glad I'm studying here. Um, I heard a lot of dentists, uh, dentists who graduated from this uh, university um, were recommending for the um, new excellent uh, system in Turgumuresh, which I got encouraged by. Um, dentistry for me is a challenging subject. Um, it's, a, it's always evolutionary and uh, you have to keep in track. And uh, um, I like in dentistry when I, uh, I focus on the patient. I always, um, when I'm treating a patient, I would like to see um, the smile on their faces after every treatment. So I see that they are uh, satisf satisfied from the treatment and uh, they are happy and they got what they came for. Yeah. I will agree with my colleague. UMF, uh, UMF SET provides lots of amazing opportunities for its students. Like even from the second year, I had the chance to work on patients, apply theory into real life. And there's lots to do and little time to spare when it comes to practical classes here. And as for dentistry, um, I have always wanted a more practical profession to work with my hands, use my creativity, uh, and to provide the best of functional and aesthetic results for my patients, even with the fewest of means. And in general, dentistry gives you the flexibility to work alone, let's say self-employed, make your own schedule, work with your own pace. And this is what I consider like dentistry is a one-way road for me. And uh, since I'm studying here in Tirgumuresh, my passion for dentistry has only grown stronger. How did you like the, um, the city of Tirgumuresh, the, the university, the campus, Transylvania, <laughs> and see that? Um, well, uh, Tirgumuresh is a beautiful city. Um, it's quite small. It, it's a it's, it's calm city. It's full of uh, kind people. Um, and uh, in general, uh, you can find here a lot of activities that you can be involved in, like uh, under the university system or uh, the city in general. Um, part of activities of Uma Fesete are the uh, sport domain, which you can find uh, in and outdoor fields for basketball, uh, tennis, um, uh, football as well, and uh, not to forget the swimming pool uh, center, which is uh, a beautiful place and uh, uh, clean uh, uh, place. Yeah, definitely. I have the same experiences as my colleague. Tegumuresh, it's a nice city to live in, full of uh, friendly, I have to say, people, gracious. Uh, they want to help us, international students, to guide us, let's say, in their city. And large percentage of whom, they are fellow students, so there's more warm atmosphere. We kind of know each other here, which is cool. Uh, so le let's start to talk now about the initiative that you started, about this, uh, uh, this project. Uh, could you tell us uh, something more and how did, you, uh, um, yeah, how did uh, this idea uh, came up? Uh, well, uh, the donation project under the name of Donate and Be the Change, um, it's a donation composed of uh, um, clothes and uh, household stuff that uh, you donate. Uh, we collect them, we gather these donations, and we give them uh, uh, to associations in Turgumuresh who are in need uh, for uh, help. Uh, well, I came up with the idea when I wanted to uh, get rid of some clothes from uh, my home. 
I um, was searching for people who would uh, take these clothes uh, as a donation, uh, who are in need for uh, help. So um, I thought to make this idea uh, bigger and to um, expand this idea and to involve more students. So uh, um, I started this. Then he introduced his idea to me when he brought up uh, his nice initiative, I immediately want to be a part of it. Um, it's something different. I want to try something new besides university and studying, get out of my comfort zone, uh, see how's, how's like volunteering. Um, and I think it really helped me also to, to see things in a different way. And in general, English section, dentistry department has the smallest number of students. And however, through our project, we would um, show our presence, raise our voice, and make a change, as the title says. So it's, it was a nice initiative in the end, I have to say, for everyone. And I wanted to add something. Uh, you might ask why students, um, especially, mm -hmm. to be involved. Uh, because the students here in MFSA, they, they uh, share the same thoughts, and they would like to uh, help and donate, because um, a lot of willing here, and they uh, um, they are willing to help, and uh, we just uh, came here to um, guide as them. As a middle way, as yes, a middle way between the students and Tergumures. In general. In general. Really nice. So uh, the initiative of uh, of this project, um, the the mm -hmm. aim of this mm -hmm. project. Uh, could you tell us more about it, like? Well, uh, our aim is uh, simple, so uh, not to throw away the clothes, mm -hmm. and uh, just give them to us, bring them and donate them. Yeah. The purpose, as I said, it was more um, to involve English section students, um, show their presence and involvement in beneficial actions for Tirgumuresh. We chose to study and live in Tirgumuresh. We're here f basically for 10 out of 12 months at least. Uh, so it's safe to say that it's our second home. Besides making a clear out in our wardrobe, uh, we helped people in need, especially um, young adults who are now making a fresh start in their lives and they need our support and here we are for them. Um, and there is always this personal fulfillment in doing such actions, helping others. I know it might sound as a cliche, uh, but it really is the case and I strongly suggest that every student at least once try to be involved in, in volunteering programs. It's an eye opener. Uh, which is the, um, the calendar of this uh, project, um, where the, the people can donate, and, um, um, and how much did you collect so far? Uh, so the period was uh, five weeks, uh, every Friday in November. Um, so especially this period is before Christmas, so we wanted to take it as a um, donation um, symbol uh, for uh, Christmas. And, um, uh, it took uh, place uh, dental department uh, in uh, this university. Um, uh, we wanted to involve this part of the university because uh, a student doesn't have uh, the chance or the opportunity to reach our faculty. Um, mm -hmm. And we managed to collect many clothes, like way higher than our expectations. Uh, week by week, the donation would increase because more and more people would find out about us, our, about our project. And yeah, we're, we're overwhelmed with the outcome. It's higher than we expected. And we had people donating from all sections. Everyone was involved, Romanian, Hungarian, English, as well as teachers. It was a nice feeling to see everyone coming and yeah, asking what are we doing here, it was funny, nice. So again, um, our colleagues that wants to donate, where should they come and uh, who can find there? Uh, uh, we were uh, there, we were mm -hmm. present there. Mm -hmm. uh, we were um, um, accepting all the uh, yeah, donations finish. and um, it was just in the uni uh, dental department, uh, in, in the, the main, main lobby. Uh, entrance. Yeah. It was we had a stand there, visible. and we had a table and everything. We would get their clothes, separate them, uh, female, male, sizes, according to sizes. And yeah, we put them into boxes and brought them to the association. And 
Yes, exactly. Next question, in fact, yeah, it won't where? be about that. Yes, where exactly. you are going to, to send the donation? Did you already send a part of them? And uh, which one was the feedback of uh, the institution of the association that mm -hmm. received um, this donation? We gave everything we received, all our donations to DGA SPC, Tirgumures, Direcția pentru Protecția Copilului, here in Tirgumures, as I said. Uh, the association was overwhelmed with our kind gesture. Um, kids and young adults were very happy, pleased, joyful. It's a nice feeling to see. And mm. uh, at this point, uh, we wanted to exactly. have a moment to thank uh, all uh, who, are, who uh, are involved, involved um, and who have participated mm, to make this exactly. happen. Big um, UMF family. Yeah, the UMF is the mm. family, of course. And, uh, and um, special thank for um, our, our dean, dean. Uh, Dr. Christina Bika, who was uh, supporting us from the, the beginning. beginning. And uh, nothing would be possible without yeah. her support and belief in us. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, let's go back uh, to you. I would like to ask you something a bit personal, like which is your uh, plan for, uh, for the future? Well, uh, my plans for the future are, uh, first of all, uh, finishing uh, here as a well-trained uh, dentist. Um, after that, uh, um, my plans would be to continue my specialty uh, either here in Turgum uh, or uh, back to my country. Um, I like uh, how uh, the specialty here uh, is very... Um, practical, they let yes, you do stuff. It's practical that you work with your hand and um, uh, you can see patients here and they treat them and they, uh, the patients are happy to uh, get treatments from uh, students which they are um, uh, studying, uh, it's like fresh studying and they no have ideas. a lot of very huge information and it's, it's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, for me the same. I would like those two years to spend them wisely to get as much information and knowledge as I can um, to help me to decide which field of specialty I would like to have further on in the near future. But yeah, see as many cases as I can, talk to teachers, get their experience. That would be my plan, personal plan for now. Do you have any, any suggestion, any recommendation for, uh, or something to say to the students that are, are going to come to study in our university or are planning to? Yeah, uh, I mean they should definitely go for it. A part of the good level of studies that we have here, we have so many um, side activities, let's say. Uh, first of all, the Erasmus project, which our university supports a lot. International congresses all over the, in the year we have, like uh, lots of them. Workshops, uh, galas, freshers week, not to mention talent shows and uh, road trips in Romania, which is now a new project of the uni, which I find quite interesting. <laughs> and uh, it's a wonderful thing to be uh, involved in uh, the medical field. Um, it makes you a uh, more uh, uh, mature, reliable person um, and set up your games. Okay. Um, especially uh, uh, while you are studying here, beside the studying, uh, you focus on yourself to get to know yourself more and uh, to um, also it teaches you how to work in a team yeah, uh, and uh, uh, also in under pressure, to work under pressure. And um, uh, you can also here find and understand uh, people in general uh, to communicate, uh, how to communicate. It's, a, it's an experience beside the studying here uh, for yourself especially. So. I would like to, to thank you to have been uh, today in our studio. Again, uh, thank you, Melina. <laughs> thank you for your invitation. You You're welcome. <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, dear telespectators, uh, thank you for watching. I wish you a great, uh, a great night. And uh, I wait for you to interna international students. Goodbye.